show us where we are. <gasps> Look at that blanket. <laughs> Absolutely not. Yeah. All right. I'll be right here. Hello! We have Austin George, and we have officially started the video because I am yelling. Today, welcome to The Logan Show. I will be interviewing him and asking him all the tough questions that none of y'all really care about. So, Austin George, where have you been the past couple of months? I have been in my home in Louisiana. He's been at his home in Louisiana. Now, where exactly in Louisiana can you give an address? Good. I'm not going to give an actual address. If you could, leave that IP address below. That would be great. So, we're going to move right on to the next question, Austin George. Do you have yourself a girlfriend? Yes, I do. I do not. They are hard to come by, and you cannot order them on Craigslist. Very true. Very true. You cannot order them. Well, it's more, more like a blind hookup on Craigslist, and it's just a big crapshoot. And it gets expensive. It can get expensive, I am telling you what. <laughs> Those girls do not come cheap. Austin George, we're going to move on to the douchebag questions. Uh, we sold your golf clubs. That was a dick move. How do you feel about that? Honestly, I'm not worried about it. You're not worried about it because you're a good person. Pretty much. I'm not. I robbed a liquor store the other day, and I felt nothing. Then I had sex with a hooker and felt nothing. It was a man, I later found out. So, Austin George, you were a part of Regular Dudes for how long? About seven months. And after that, would you say your life took a huge decline or uh, an upgrade? That I am not sure of, honestly. So he's unsure if his life took an upgrade or a decline, but I'm going to guess decline because we're great. People don't know this. Austin and I have known each other since we were babies. We were in the same womb. We lived together for a very long period of time. And we worked at the same trampoline park that went downhill as soon as we left because we left. Yes. You know, when you do it... This is my show! So it's a pedophile's dream job. Would, would you say that? Pretty much it is, yes. Because you, you get to sit there all day watching kids, getting your wood hard. I mean, it's just... It's not the greatest job in the world if you have standards. We started the prank dial. You know how kids are. Uh, the only sad thing about that is we're not really kids anymore. I'm 21 years old, and I'm sitting there laughing like a little schoolgirl at church, and we're making these prank calls. Would you say you had an enjoyable time making those prank calls? I did, I did, until it got a little too wild about, <laughs> no, about the fifth phone call in. That's the only way we know how to go, Austin, is wild. Yeah. I am single by choice, okay? Semi my choice, semi other people's choice. I don't like to be touched, okay? So let's move on to the next question. Austin George, where are you going with the next direction of your life? Like, what's next for Austin George? Hopefully to start work as a millwright. That is very awesome. And how much money are you going to be making there? I'll probably start out for about $15, $16 now. That is better than I have ever done and ever will do. I hate kids. So... This is what my papa always used to tell me when I was a little kid. He used to say, kids are the devil and you're God. You gotta make sure you show them their place, okay? Mm -hmm. You step on them, you kick them, you punch them when they're down, and then you're a great father. Top five energy drinks of all time, and I will probably disagree with you. Red Bull, Monster, Venom, Rockstar, uh... I like how you put Venom. If you don't know what Venom is, 99 cents. It's the cheapest energy drink. It'll give you your fix. It'll give you your, it'll make your jets go. It'll make you just, you just go. And in last, it'll be NOS. Do you know the dangers of energy drinking? Yes, I do. It is so dangerous that only one person we know of died, and it probably wasn't even for that. It's probably from his wife. Come home! Come home! I don't know how wives sound. I don't have a wife. Oh, come home to me! And his head exploded. That's what, I, that's what my assumption is. It had nothing to do with the energy drink. So, you've lived in Louisiana. You've lived in Texas. Which is your favorite and why? And if you say Louisiana, that's fine. That's cool. It actually is Louisiana. I can't blame you because home is where the heart is, okay? In five years from now, I see myself cutting wood in Alaska with a big old grizzly beard. And then I'll be going to the bathroom later to jerk it, and I'll come back and chop some more wood. Hmm. you got to keep it real with the audience because if you're lying, you're not only lying to the audience, you're lying to yourself. No matter what. You have your game, I have my game. My game is Strikers. And uh, crying myself to sleep every night, that's a game I play. So, suicide is a very, very bad situation that is sweeping. You don't commit yourself to do that. 
You gotta at least think about other people what's gonna do to them first before you start that. As I get the cocaine out of my pipe! And uh, get that painting out for us. Could you get that painting out for us, Jaden? No. Jaden does my laundry and he makes sure that my shoes are shine. And he comes to check on me when I'm very sad at night. Like I say, I cry myself to sleep every night. So guys, this was the end of the video. Austin George is a good, good, good friend. We've been friends since we were babies. Mm -hmm. We've known each other our entire lives and, uh, and I am so honored to have him in my presence. It, make, it, it chokes me up a little bit, but... Austin George, thank you very much for being on The Logan Show. You're welcome. And uh, it was a joy! Uh, make sure to follow this guy on Facebook and other stuff. Isn't that crazy? Goodbye.